Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. At Crimson Lights, Chelsea and Adam informed Connor that they thought he should visit the therapy facility that his physician had suggested. Adam and Chelsea told their son that Connor would enjoy Maryland and that it was a beautiful place. In response, Connor said it didn't matter because he wasn't going. Connor had to go to the center, but Chelsea assured him that she understood. Connor claimed that his parents intended to send him away to make them forget he ever existed. Chelsea and Adam vehemently denied the allegations, stating their undying love for Connor. Even if I'm crazy like the doctors said, Connor questioned. Connor lamented that he had lost any sense of reality. Sorry that things were difficult and frightening for Connor, Adam stated he and Chelsea would do anything for him. Adam and Chelsea persisted in telling Connor that visiting the rehab facility would be the wisest course of action. If there would be other children at the center, Connor inquired. Connor was reassured by Adam and Chelsea that Connor will be visited by them both. Connor questioned whether Adam and Chelsea would force him to remain there despite his dislike of it. If Connor truly didn't like the center, Chelsea assured him he wouldn't have to stay. Adam advised Connor to give it time before attempting to go back home. Connor gave in and promised to try. With a smile on her face, Chelsea urged Adam to make sure the three of them would be present by calling the facility. When Adam called, the center informed him that he could be enrolled immediately. Connor grumbled that everything were moving so fast. Adam gave Connor a hug and told him things would get better. As Sally arrived, Chelsea and Connor departed for their homes. Connor had at last consented to attend the residential program, Adam informed Sally. Sally expressed her pride in Adam for acting in Connor's best interests. Adam expressed his regret for the circumstances and said that perhaps things would have turned out differently if he had been a better parent. Sally responded that Adam wasn't to blame because he had been a wonderful parent. Adam informed Sally that Connor, Chelsea, and Adam would be heading to the facility that evening. Adam was nonetheless given encouragement by Sally that he would get through this. When Connor admitted he didn't know what was real, Adam started crying and that something inside of him had cracked. Chelsea came back inside the coffee shop and praised Sally for standing by Adam. Sally confided in Chelsea that she had no idea what they were all going through. If Chelsea needed anything at all, Sally instructed Chelsea to give her a call. Chelsea expressed her gratitude for Sally's return to Adam's life. Sally expressed to Chelsea how much that mattered. Chelsea left once more to pick up Connor. Sally told Adam once more how well he and Chelsea were adjusting to parenthood. Sally assured Adam that she would be thinking of him and Connor and advised him not to worry about work. They said goodbye with an embrace. Kyle was sitting on the couch using his laptop when Diane entered the Abbott residence. Diane was informed by Kyle that Harrison had questioned why she couldn't work as his full-time nanny. Kyle claimed to have told Harrison that he worked a full-time job. Diane looked annoyed as she remarked that it was amazing that Kyle had found time to show up for his mother's job by carrying out her responsibilities as well. Kyla gave Diane a perplexed glance. Diane gave an explanation, saying that she had recently discovered Kyle had revised a presentation for her project. Diane became enraged and informed Kyle that he could not pretend to be CEO and override her efforts. Diane was lying, according to Kyle, who claimed that his only intention was to help Diane by making her work better. Diane informed Kyle that he ought to have asked Diane for her opinion, so that she could determine whether or not to make any modifications. Diane claimed she was taken by surprise, but Kyle once more suggested Diane was exaggerating. Kyle maintained that the alterations were not significant and had been slight, Diane countered that Kyle had been generally altering her work quite a little. Angrier than ever, Diane accused Kyle of watching her too closely now that she was CEO. Diane emphasized to Kyle that she was his boss. Diane expressed her regret and informed Kyle that she ought to have spoken to him sooner about her worries. Deviant, 
Kyle stated Diane was mad at him for knowing what the CEO position involved. Diane acknowledged that Kyle was quite knowledgeable and proposed that they have lunch together. Kyle quickly departed after saying he had to go. When Jack got home, Diane informed him about her chat with Kyle. Diane explained to Jack that the reason for the heated exchange was Kyle's resentment of Diane for being the co-CEO. Diane inquired of Jack what action she ought to do. Jack stated that he would not advise Diane on how to handle situations since doing so would undermine Diane and Kyle. Diane Fuming stated she would have welcomed Jack's counsel. Diane and Kyle, according to Jack, would overcome it. Victoria and Claire sipped coffee on the couch at the Newman Ranch. Claire admitted to Victoria that Jordan had kept her on edge her entire life. That was something Victoria had to convince Claire she didn't have to worry about anymore. Victoria proposed that Claire and her go out and engage in normal activities. Claire suggested that they go to eat first. Evidently upset, Nikki entered and said that Jordan was again causing trouble. Jordan had experienced a seizure, Nikki reported, and Victoria inquired as to whether the toxin she had consumed was the cause. The medical emergency was causing a delay in Jordan's sentencing, Nikki lamented. Claire wondered if anyone even was having a seizure. Jordan had taken the poison, Victoria understood, knowing that the women would come to her aid and allow her to go to the hospital rather than return to custody. Victoria said Jordan had no moves left to play to Claire and Nikki. Claire warned against underestimating Jordan because he will have a fallback plan. Victoria reintroduced Jack to Claire as her daughter as soon as he entered. After Jack requested to talk with Nikki, Victoria and Claire departed for their midday meal. When Jack arrived, he inquired as to whether there had been any tension. It was confirmed by Nikki that they had been talking about Jordan, Jordan's life had been saved, Nikki remarked, and she may live to regret it. Jack was informed by Nikki that Nikki had called 9 to 11 and that Jordan had consumed poison. Jack informed Nikki that she was unable to witness Jordan perish. Nikki was being reassured by Jack that she had made the correct decision when she was startled by a noise. Jordan entering the house was causing Nikki to become anxious. Victoria had made the noise by unintentionally toppling a chair. Still, Jack saw that Nikki was trembling. Nikki admitted to Jack that, as of late, she had need numerous diversions to keep Jordan out of her thoughts. Jack began updating Nikki about the Abbott situation. Jack mentioned that he could use some guidance and that he had been worried about Ashley. Jack disclosed to Nikki that Ashley was still having difficulty moving on after her split with Tucker. Tucker had insisted he was innocent, Nikki surmised. Tucker had said he had been innocent, Jack verified, and Ashley had finally conceded that perhaps she had exaggerated the whole Paris incident out of proportion. Ashley had been wavering in her affections for Tucker, according to Jack. It was Jack who couldn't get through to her. Nikki expressed her regret that he had to cope with it and acknowledged that she was aware of Jack's worries. Jack was told by Nikki to stay out of it. Even if Ashley hadn't always made the best choices, Nikki said Ashley needed to know that she could always rely on Jack for support. Jack was advised by Nikki not to risk pushing her away. Diane had given him the same counsel, Jack admitted. Nikki was alone herself in the living room, taking calls. Victor was being called by security. I could take a message, Nikki said. When Nikki was informed that Jordan had broken out of the hospital, she looked horrified. Claire mentioned at Society that she was still getting used to meeting the real Victoria, rather than the one she had read about in the media. Claire claimed that neither the press's capacity for silliness nor her lack of baking skill had been disclosed. After chuckling, Victoria informed Claire that there was so much she wanted to know. Claire was asked by Victoria what she would have studied if she had had the opportunity. Victoria shared with Claire her passion for art. In response, Claire said she adored museums for their artwork and people watching. Claire explained that Jordan had given her permission to visit museums so that she could blend in with Victoria's environment. Jordan had not been able to take Claire's imagination away, but Claire claimed she got something out of it anyway. Victoria went to answer a call, and Kyle came to the table. 
Kyle was seated at Claire's invitation. Even when Kyle expressed his unhappiness, Claire persisted that he was still better company than some of the other individuals she put up with. After taking a seat, Kyle requested Claire to elaborate. As for Claire, she claimed to have tons of experience with undesirable companions. After stating that her aunt had reared her, Claire inquired as to Kyle's relationship to the Newman family. Although Kyle and Summer's marriage was dissolved, they had been trying their best to co-parent Harrison. Kyle inquired as to whether Claire had experienced hardships growing up without parents. Kyle had to be attempting to ascertain just how terrible of a person Claire was, Claire added, pointing out that he had asked a lot of questions. Kyle wondered why Claire would make such a claim. Claire maintained that because Kyle had heard more about her than the day before, he was treating her differently. It was true. Kyle admitted that he had learned more about Claire's background and had been surprised. Kyle was informed by Claire that he should walk away due to her hazardous past. Kyle expressed his want to hear Claire's version of events. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.